Well, it's exciting because we've been working on this movie all year long, and tonight we're uh, kicking off the press junket in Cabo, and it's pretty spectacular. You know, we realized when we sat down to figure out how we were going to do a second movie that the opportunity that we had left at the end of the first movie is that the game is broken. That means that when they go back, anything could have happened. And so I always thought of it like, you know, walls have been torn down inside Jumanji and suddenly we're going to be able to expand into entirely new parts of the world that we've never seen before. Uh, and in fact, the it will even affect how the avatars manifest and who's playing what and how the, uh, you know, which basically which characters everybody's playing. Something that we can do with these Jumanji movies that I think sort of no one else can do, which is you can bring the whole cast back together, but have everybody playing something different than what they were playing in the first movie. And we just felt like when we kind of zeroed in on that, we realized that there was just this sort of endless opportunity to you know, refresh this idea and in fact have the adventure be entirely new again. So we got together and sort of had the conversation and I, I sort of had this thought that what I really wanted to see was some characters at a completely different point in their lives go on the same journey that the kids we had seen in the first movie go on. And that was sort of what led us to this idea of characters that Danny and Danny play who um, find themselves sort of accidentally sucked into this game and put on this adventure uh, that, you know, they maybe didn't realize they need to go on. I've worked on a lot of television and I've worked on movies of all different kind of shapes and sizes now. And I can say these Jumanji movies are really built to be watched in a movie theater and it's something that we think about and talk about all the time in terms of the scale and the you know the sequences the action the stunts the sound of it the music the animals it's all sort of built to be taken in on a 40-foot screen and um, you know you can watch it other ways later in its life but the very best way to see this movie is without a doubt with a big group of people, hopefully with people you love, in a movie theater, and we uh, we build it that way from from the, from the jump. <laughs>